Hey guys, Paul from CP Addict here. We're out at the uh, St. Louis area Power Strokes Rally with uh, Scott Fosdick and his 96 F350. Uh, he's going to tell us a little bit today about some of the modifications he's done to it. So tell us about, like, like, give us an overall of, of what mods you've done to the truck and then kind of give us some more, more in-depth. Like, kind of what was your first mod that you started with and then go from there? Well, a little history on this truck is uh, at 129,000 miles, uh, we were on our way back from my in-laws in Texas, and uh, I pushed myself a little bit further, ended up getting fuel at a mom and pop shop, and uh, ended up that fuel had water in it. Uh, it uh, damaged the injectors that were original in here. So uh, made it home uh, after stopping several times, got the water, <laughs> and uh, got home, and I wasn't really... So proof that the 7.3 can run even with water in the fuel? Yes, yeah, it was rough, but it did it. It made it home. Yes, and so uh, we made it back home, uh, and I went to a local diesel shop and asked them, uh, you know, to see what the problem was. Uh, figured out it was the injectors that had uh, gotten damaged by some water and the fuel. Yeah. So uh, the craze began for me at that point. <laughs> um, the, the mod started right then and there. It, it did. Uh, the diesel shop uh, there locally uh, suggested that I get Swamp's Diesel a call. So I called them, and they, uh, at the time they were a smaller operation, and uh, so drove down to Tennessee and swapped the injectors out, uh, got gauges and a tuner, and uh, the very next weekend drove up to uh, a Diesel Power Fest rally which was in Indianapolis, right. and that's when I met the, the truck club that I'm in, where we're at today, St. Louis Area Power Strokes. Awesome. That's, that's kind of cool how all that kind of always comes together. It's kind of like how we met with us coming from Texas up here for this event. But, um, so I, I noticed you've got a lift on it. It looks to be, what, four inch? Four inch. Uh, who made the, the lift on it? It's a rough country lift. Rough country four inch. Um, and uh, it's been on there now since uh, 2000 and one. Okay, so it's been on there for a pretty, it's been on there for a lot of the truck's life. Long time. And I know kind of we'll, we'll skip back just a little bit. You said that, you know, you put injectors in the truck when it had 120,000 miles on it. And you just turned, you told me, 420,000 miles? 420,000 miles. So you, you've had a truck that's been modded and been a daily driver slash work truck for 420,000 miles with 300 and some odd thousand of those being modified. So proof that it's still a, a good reliable platform if you if you build it properly yes um so you've got four inch lift on here what size tires are you running those are 35 12 50 18 okay. on 18 by 9 fuel problems okay. and then you've got the nfab steps and you've got the uh, the ranch hand bumper which everybody is constantly wanting a ranch hand bumper for yeah. that truck i think they're kind of an iconic thing for for these these trucks um funny yeah. story behind the ranch hand bumper awesome I was at a, uh, uh, I was at Shy Diesel Performances uh, weekend in August, back in uh, 1999, or no, no, 2003. And uh, I pulled in there, parked, a friend of mine was with me, and we went up in the stands and get ready for the truck pull. And uh, a truck pulled in, black truck, OBS, parked right next to me. And uh, I remarked to my friend, Dan, I said, uh, it was just a, probably 20, 30 minutes later, I said, man, look at that truck down there parked next to my truck. I said, oh, I'd love to have those bumpers. Well, the guy that owned that truck just happened to be sitting one person away from where I was sit sitting, and he overheard me say that. And he catches me after the show and says, hey, is that your truck down there parked next to mine? And I said, yeah. He said, I overheard you say you'd love to have those bumpers. And I was like, yeah. He said, how about you meet me at my house on Monday night and I'll have those bumpers off and I'll swap you for your bumpers and your hitch. Deal. Wow, so you got these in trade for your factory stuff? Yes. Wow. Yeah, nobody gets that much. No. Time, right? So you, you did tell me also that in the last 420,000 miles you have had the truck repainted. Um, any particular reason you had it repainted, rust repair, paint peel, or what, what was it that caused you or just did you just want to bring it back to life and give it breathe it some new life well i wanted to bring it 
uh, give it some new life. Uh, the problems I was having is my front fenders had created two bubbles on both sides. They were smaller, uh, but they were noticeable to me. And it drove you crazy, didn't it? It, it drives me nuts. And then I got one bubble on the back uh, fender on the passenger side. Uh, it was really not really noticeable, but it kept getting worse a little over time, but never broke through. And I kept going to truck shows and just having fun, but I was saving money at the time. Um, and uh, I knew that I wanted to do something. So I decided that uh, once I got to that point, I was gonna pull the strings and do it. Um, just happened to be going down the road one night on the way home and the car went by me and threw eggs out. Really? And so, uh, <laughs> so I, I uh, the next day, I, I went to the car wash, tried to, to get it off, but when eggs were thrown out of paint job, it just uh, it ruined it. And so, uh, obviously insurance had a little bit to do with that exchange, um, but, uh, but somebody else kind of, Oh yeah. It, it really, the truck wasn't at fault. It was just kind of, you were, you were starting to notice little things and you just kind of wanted to breathe some new life into it. Most, Absolutely. It most like, most, most of what it is. So I know you said you've got the gauges in it. I noticed a while ago, you've got a CB in your truck, uh, the topper shell on it. Uh, you've got the, what size light bar is that in the front grill? That is a 32 inch. 32 inch. And then um, you've done a lot of little touches, like painting the grill to match the truck, and you know, done the black cab lights. And I know you've got Tony Rowe hotel lights, the our cab lights on the truck, and a few other odd and things. So we'll do a, a short little clip in a minute, kind of showing showing off those things. But we really appreciate you telling us about your truck. Thanks for bringing it out and getting in. As always, guys, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video. If you have other videos you'd like to see us shoot, please uh, email in to info at CP Addict and also uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Thanks.